Welcome back. We have been gone for a while. A lot of craziness happening in the world of the Gardner crew right now. We have a new baby. That's exciting, right? And as I was getting ready to go edit the video of of our new baby being born, I realized there were some videos from before that that I had missed, so some lost footage. And I just couldn't let it go to waste. It was too good. It was It's our family history and just some great memories in there, some memories we need to keep. I recognize it is old. This was, you know, over a month ago, but we hope you enjoy it and stay tuned because Waylon's birth vlog is coming up soon. Well, today's kind of an exciting day. Do you hear that? Nobody's with me. Nobody else is even at home. It's just me. It's just me at home. This is the first time since everybody's gone back to school that I've had the day off. My kindergarten gig is over and I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. And so I told him I couldn't sub at all. And it's just me. Yay! So I'm gonna go to Sholo, I'm gonna do some shopping, I'm gonna go to my doctor's appointment and hopefully get some more answers about this Vasa Previa thing that I might have. I'm gonna ask him more like, okay, so what are the chances? Like, what did you see that made you, well, I know that he sees the placenta and like an accessory or a bilobe close to my cervix. So I know that he sees that, but I wanna know, like, did you see veins? How close are the veins? Do you want me to go to the specialist because you see them or because you can't see them and they might be there? Like I, and if they are there, what do we do from here? <laughs> Cause I'm 30 weeks and I'm getting closer, way closer to the time where we wouldn't need to make some decisions about when to deliver the baby and all of those kind of things. And so I really would like some more answers. I need to go to Home Depot. I want to do some shopping at Ross, but I get tired easy. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how much shopping I get done. And of course, I have to have lunch. I have to have lunch by myself. I don't know if I want to go to Wendy's or Panda Express though. Other than that, it's just going to be You can even like feel a little crisp in the air like fall is coming. I would say it's a cool September morning. I wish you could hear the rustle in the trees because it's really, really pretty. I want to go to Ross because I need some more fall decor. Fall decor is so important. I'm really enjoying this quiet. Okay, I should probably go to my appointment now though. Okay, I made it to Sholo. I'm actually in the parking lot of Ross because I have plans for Ross right now. But before I go in, I wanted to give you an update. So this all just went down like on the way to Sholo. So I get a call from my regular, regularly scheduled OB and they said basically my referral got lost. So my referral to the specialist got lost somewhere along the way. If I didn't get a phone call today from the specialist to make an appointment, then I needed to call her in the morning so that we can get an appointment. So I'm like, okay, yay, sometime today I'm gonna get a phone call. 20, 25 minutes later, I get a phone call. You can tell by, you know, the area code and stuff of where the phone call's coming from. And it was coming from the valley. So I was like, oh sweet, I bet this is the doctor. Sure enough, it was, answered the phone. She's like, hey, this is so-and-so from, you know, doctor's office place and da da da. We need to get you an appointment scheduled. So we start going through all the things, my name, my birthday, insurance. And we're halfway through insurance and she goes, I'm so sorry, but my computer just froze. And then she tries exiting out the window and the window won't exit out and it's just completely frozen. And she's like, I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna have to call our help desk and have them fix my computer and then I'll call you back. I was so close. I was this close to getting an appointment and then her computer died. Dag snab it. So here we are again, waiting for the specialist. Yeah, okay, my plans for us. In our closet, there's not a lot of storage for my shoes. Like I can't even put like a shoe rack in there cause 
the space from the floor to the bottom of like the shelves and stuff just isn't very tall. And so I'm looking for kind of like a wire basket that like the back is a little taller and then the front is a little shorter and it's like slanty. Does that make sense? I feel like most people, it's like a pantry thing. Like you put like potatoes and onions in it and stuff. Anyway, I feel like if I got three or four of those, then I can organize our shoes. And then I need to get a bunch of baskets to organize our cleaning supplies and the rest of my pantry. My pantry's a mess. It's a disaster. And it bothers me every time I walk into it. And so I'm at Ross to look for wire baskets and more baskets to go in the pantry and full decor. So let's go see what Ross has before I go to Home Depot and look. Okay, this is so sad. Their fall decor is like, wah, wah. That's it for fall decor. Isn't that so sad? I mean, they have a little bit more Halloween stuff, but that's it. All right, I had my doctor's appointment. I'm sorry, I didn't bring you along. It was kind of really fast. They got me in and out pretty, pretty quick today. And now I'm dreaming of a new refrigerator. <laughs> So I talked to my doctor. So one of my questions was, why am I going to a specialist? Like what can, can we see and what can we not see on this ultrasound? And he said, we know my placenta is on the front and then the lobe is on the back and they can't see any veins or vessels, but they know there has to be veins or vessels somewhere. They just don't know where they are. And so we need the better ultrasound machine at the specialists to see where those vessels go because we know they're there we just can't find them we don't know where they're at I also got a call from the specialist apparently my referral got lost and so my doctor's um, assistant had to call the office and skip the whole referral thing and just schedule me in and then worry about the referral for like paperwork sake so I have an appointment for next Thursday which is a week and a half away and then we can make some plans from there after we see those pictures. Everything I read on Google is true. <laughs> Basically, it is kind of a, it, it can be kind of an emergency situation when it comes to delivery, but we really just need those pictures from the specialist to figure out where those veins or vessels are. Find out where they are. If anything, if there's no veins or vessels, we get a much more clear picture of the baby. So that's kind of fun. That's the update on the baby. I'm here in Lowe's and I'm gonna go look for some baskets. Okay, here's some baskets. And these, oh, those look like they go kind of underneath. Yeah, that's not really what I'm looking for. Let's try a different aisle. All right, it looks a little bit more storagey here. Okay, these are the type of bins, but I want them to be cuter than that. Those are like super heavy duty. I don't really love that. Well, that aisle was not helpful. Let's try the next one. Okay, I see more wiry things over here. Oh, cute baskety things over here. Hmm. Not what I'm looking for. Pretty sure Lowe's has more fall decor than Ross. Oh, that's cute. I love fall, most of all. Oh, oh, and a wreath. They have a couple different wreaths. All right, anybody else just loving Fall, fall means it's closer to baby's due date, so that's fun. I made my way to Walmart, and this is the most depressing fall decor trip I've ever gone on in my life. Look at how depressing these shelves are. You guys, how is this even possible? It's empty, it's completely empty. I mean, there's a couple little signs right there, but what, what, what happened to the fall decor? What happened to Defal? To Defal. Look. Did I just miss it? Because this is all empty too. Or do we have like a fall decor shortage going on here? This is so sad. Okay, I did finally find what I was looking for, but they're a little bit more expensive and intense than what I had in mind. So this is what I was talking about for my shoes. 
Um, I don't think those would fit Kyle's shoes. They're probably the right height, but I think I was wanting them to be a little bit more wide and they don't have to be nearly this cute, although that is helpful, but it makes them a little bit more expensive. Uh, I want these in like plastic, like this, but like way bigger and not that thing in it. <laughs> what to do, what to do. See, these are my other options. Just to recap, these would be for our shoes in our closet because they're a mess and I need to organize them, but a shoe stacker won't work. That would be way too tall for the space I have. Okay, I'm chilling in my closet and I'm a little embarrassed to show you my shoe <laughs> situation, but I'm gonna fix it. So here's the before and then we're gonna organize. See, they're just a mess. There's just no where for this to go. So you think if I just snap my finger, this will all be organized? Let's see. All right, that looks a little better. It's not, I don't know. It's not my favorite, but sandals, church shoes, my boots, tennis shoes <laughs> that I don't wear, and then church shoes. So those are like a little nicer shoes, but they're flat. And those are like my heel that I really only wear to church. And these are my like, oh, I wear these all the time, so we'll keep them out. Poor Kyle's shoes still need a little organization, but I like this better than just a pile of shoes in my closet so for now the baskets work made it back from all the stores i swear i went to every store that could possibly have fall decorations and i didn't come home with any so that's pretty lame but kyle's home so i want to show him all of the things that i got i got these really cute pillows from ross but i'm kind of having a problem because I should have gotten four. I only got two and our couch is big enough that I should have got four and I only got two and it's Ross so I don't know if they're gonna have them next time I go. So it's a problem. But look, I really like the unfinished edge and they're cute, like they're fallish, but I could also use them as like spring because they have like the yellow and the gray in it. So you could use it like twice a year. If only I had gotten four. See, this is a problem. But I really like them and we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So that was at Ross. We needed some new kitchen towels and I really liked these colors and they all match. So I got those, I got those ones. I got a new colander, like a one with the holes in it. Cause our last one like had a big crack in it and it was it was a problem too, like the macaroni would like squeeze through and some would fall out. So I fixed that, we got a new one. From, I think it was Lowe's. I didn't get anything from Home Depot this time, which is weird. But I did get stuff from Lowe's. So won't that look cute as a fall doormat? Because it's like fall colors, but it's still a little happy. Like it's more like a September-y doormat, don't you think? I like it. So I was in, I was in Lowe's and I called Kyle, you can ask him. And I was like, just to let you know, I'm gonna do a thing and we're gonna decorate our outside for Halloween. So I got Halloween decorations. <laughs> Macy's really excited. Whoa, okay, yeah. look at how cute this little happy ghost is. You could call him Casper cause he looks pretty friendly, right? Um, but that was the only thing that I found there. And since I found this, I had to go to like four other stores to try to find more stuff to match him because you can't just have a lone ghost in your yard. Like, you gotta have a little more than that. So it's this guy's fault while we're decorating for Halloween. <laughs> yeah, because he's so cute. He doesn't look so friendly anymore. He's so cute. I went to Big Lots, and Big Lots had these cute little mini LED lights. See, da, da, da. and then I didn't know if I should how much of these lights I should get because I didn't measure anything so I think I got enough for this to go on like the walkway like the arch and then I got a spider and it's five feet long like wide and so I think we could probably put it like on the edge of the house or something I don't know we're gonna have to play by we I mean Kyle is gonna have to play with that. 
And then um, I got a purple light because those were both orange. And then I was thinking about it and this is probably the wrong light bulb for anything on the outside of our house, huh? Yeah, he just yeah. shook his head, yeah. It definitely I, is. Because the ones I up there are really the right tiny. One. Yeah. So that's cool. a little anticlimactic. But I also got, it says Happy Halloween. It's like caution tape, but it says Happy Halloween everywhere. And it's orange too. Look, we have orange, orange, orange. Like we need something that's purple. Purple. Yeah, he purple. is purple. But we need something else that's purple. And this was the plan, but that plan's oh, we not gonna put work. That, like, right yeah. And do you wanna know what else I got at Big Lots? Yeah. Let me show you. The biggest thing of Pop Tarts I've ever seen in my life. I think that's bigger than the the box that you get a Sam's Club. Don't you think so? 48? That's a lot. And it had my favorite. We're size and say we're suckers for the brown sugar cinnamon. Yeah. Holy crap. Uh oh. For two pastries, it's 400 calories. That's why they're so good. Yeah. And it was only $7.50. That's a good deal. It was pretty good. Walmart was kind of boring. The kids are starting soccer, so I had to get them shin guards. These are way cheaper than a Big Five and Amazon, and they were like 25 bucks. These were four and these were eight. Ella size, which aren't very sturdy. I got the bigger kids a little a little better because I feel like they play with kids that can kick a little harder than Ella. My white shoes need cleaning. So I got this grandma secret sneaker cleaner. No idea if it works. No idea. But Let's see if grandma knows what she's talking about. Yeah, I bought it. We'll try it. Because I have these white kids that I wear with a lot, and they, they're white, so they need some cleaning. I got another game of Skippo, because we've been playing a lot of Skippo at our house, but if you play with like five or six people, you need more than one deck, because you like run out of cards really fast, and then we're all like, well, what do we do now? So I got another deck to add to it. And this is probably one of my favorites. Kyle can probably even know where I'm going with this one. Do you know where I'm going with Heck this yeah, I know where you're going with this one. I have one of these boxes for every one of our kids and it has their name on it. Oh, this one's really dusty. I, I had to ask somebody to get it off the very top shelf. Like, it's pretty dusty. Anyway, I have one of these for each one of our kids and it has their name and then the year that they're graduating. So like class of 29 or something. 2029. 2029. That's wild. I feel like she's actually 2027. Even sooner? Yeah, Whoa. and like Bentley's 2029. Anyway, so it'll have their name on it. And then I keep a file folder. So one of these things of their schoolwork from every grade. So Ella will have one that says daycare. And then she'll have another one that says kindergarten. And it will say the year 2021 to 2022 as they get bigger. It just fills up with their important schoolwork, the stuff that I want to keep. Or like tests and awards and all kinds of stuff. So each kid has their own box. Ella's stuff is all in Bentley's box. And it was time for her to have her own. So you got your own box. Ella, you got a box. Mm. That's it. <laughs> and the most exciting part, all my different bins. Okay, so these ones are for underneath the sink. All of the bathroom stuff that the kids should be using when they clean the bathroom will go in this. So it'll be like toilet bowl cleaner, window cleaner, maybe even some paper towels in there. So when they go to clean the bathroom, they better use every cleaner that's in that bucket. And if you didn't use the cleaner, you didn't clean everything that you should. Well, this bucket needs cleaning too. This bucket's empty. Don't you worry, I'm gonna fill well, it up. Look. It so, yeah, it does. That's the back of that stroke. So we'll have like one for the bathroom, one for the kitchen, and then just organizing stuff. So we have carpet cleaning stuff under there or stuff that you would clean the kitchen with and that will just all go in the different buckets so that we I can organize under the sink a little better. These ones are for my shoes. I'm gonna try those ones for my shoes. I couldn't find the ones I really wanted for my shoes 
and those ones that I found at Walmart that I showed you were just too expensive. I couldn't pay like 12 bucks a piece. They were super cute, but they were just way too expensive. So I'm gonna try these for my shoes. They had a ton of them, but I didn't wanna buy a lot. So I'm gonna see how these work, and if it works and I need more, I know I can go back to Walmart and buy some more. Okay, so those are these ones. I really like buckets, can you tell? Um, these ones are for in our pantry. We have even more cleaning supplies. So we bought this house from Kyle's mom, and there was still a lot of stuff in it when we moved into the house. She really liked buying cleaning supplies, especially when they were on sale. So we inherited a lot of cleaning supplies. So I've been looking up there first before I buy anything, but I'd like to organize it a little more. Like I think we have about six different brands of carpet cleaners in there, and so I want all the carpet cleaners to just be in one bin so that I know and I even have a label maker and I'm gonna like put a label on it that says carpet cleaning solution, you know? And then one will probably be for my Bath and Body Works soap because <laughs> that deserves its own bin. And then she had quite a bit of like shampoo and conditioner that she bought up there and quite a bit of soap. So these are gonna be for um, organizing the cleaning stuff in the pantry that we inherited. And when mom says we inherited a lot, she means a lot. Like our <laughs> shelves in the pantry, the whole entire top, like to the back, is all filled with just cleaning supplies. The whole thing. Mommy. What? Can I have a second? Sure. Yeah. And I would hate to throw it away, and I know there's probably good stuff up there, it's just not easy to find, and so I end up buying something different. I'll probably still buy the Method All-Purpose Cleaner because it smells really good and it's my favorite. But, like, bathroom cleaner and that kind of stuff, I'd rather use up the stuff that we have before I go buy more. Yay for buckets <laughs> and bins! So many buckets and bins! So many buckets and bins! Bins! And buckets! And bins and lids, so I have a question. What's the difference between a bucket and a bin? Is this a bucket and that's a bin? Nobody knows. Nobody I don't think any of those are buckets. You don't think Buckets so? are round and have uh, handles. So those are handles. all bins? Those are all bins. Wait, this has handles? That was my fun shopping day. Did I already tell you this, that we got an appointment for my specialist? I think I did. But in case I didn't, or in case you missed it, it's next Thursday. So in 10 days is when we're gonna go down and see the specialist. And probably the best news of the day, well like maybe the second best news because I'm really excited about those buckets and those bins, is that our car should be done today. So I don't believe it yet. <laughs> our van should be done. Time's, time's a ticking over there. Well I looked at it and I think they closed at 5.30. So we still hour? have an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Crossing fingers. <laughs> 